Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be making my favorite version of butternut squash soup. I've been craving this for the last few weeks and I knew that I had to come on and give you guys my recipe. Let's get into it. The ingredients you're going to need are one butternut squash, one large onion, some fresh garlic, vegetable, or some people use chicken stock, but I am going to be using vegetable today, olive oil, salt, pepper, a mixture of different herbs. I'm going to be using sage, rosemary, ginger, and turmeric, but you can use a mixture of whatever herbs you have, or if you don't have one of them, just leave it out. Lastly, you can use heavy cream or coconut milk. I prefer coconut milk, but whichever one works best for you, go ahead and use that. I might add carrots to mine too, we'll see. Also, make sure you go ahead and preheat your oven to 400 because we are going to roast the butternut squash, onions, and garlic. on the inside awesome it smells amazing we are gonna go ahead and take the guts out this is what it looks like after gonna go ahead and do that to the other side I probably will end up using these seeds to bake and make like pumpkin type seeds I did chop the tops off of the garlic after you cut the squash in half Slice diagonally so that it cooks through. Slice the onion, cut the tops off of the garlic, drizzle with olive oil, sprinkle on your herbs, and you're ready to pop that in the oven for 40 to 45 minutes. Okay guys, we are done roasting. How you will know whenever it's ready is whenever you're able to poke it easily with a fork. Kind of like, I guess you would say, whenever how you would know that potatoes are ready. I'm gonna go ahead and take them out and just show you guys. Now we're gonna scoop the insides of the squash out, put them into your blending cup. If you have one of the handheld mixers, you can go ahead and scoop out all of the squash, add it into your soup bowl, and then go ahead and add in the onions and the garlic, squeeze the garlic out. I am going to be adding mine into a blender. All right, so if you do have a handheld blender, you can just go ahead and add in your vegetable broth into the pan and all of the veggies and then you will just use the hand blender to blend it all up but since I don't have that I am going to be using this I added in some of the broth at the bottom as liquid um, I'm gonna be doing it in a couple of batches but here we go After you've gotten everything blended, you're just going to add it all to the pot, add in your coconut milk, and then you are going to let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes on low so that everything can mix together. I did save a little bit of the coconut milk to add to the top of mine to make it look pretty. It's definitely not necessary, but I like to do that. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Wow. This is exactly what I wanted. I'm gonna make me some bread to go with it. It's gonna be the perfect dinner. 10 out of 10, definitely recommend making this if you do enjoy butternut squash. It is kind of like a baby food consistency to some people, so keep that in mind. This might not be the recipe that you wouldn't quite enjoy. That does conclude the video today. Um, be sure to recommend what you would like me to do next down below and be sure to subscribe. Bye guys.